artists, it's Miss Evans here. I'm gonna quickly demonstrate how we're making our Claude Monet inspired water lilies with a little froggy friend. We're gonna start by making our background. We're using painted paper techniques. We're gonna use this tempera paint and I'm gonna come over and just randomly put some on your paper once I see that your name is on the back. So that is the key to get your paint. Name on back and class code. So I'm just gonna come over, I'm literally gonna put some crazy swirls of paint on your paper. Doesn't matter if it looks pretty because then we're going in with one of these. This is a paint scraper. You can see there's different textures on the bottom. And you're gonna drag your paint around, even on the edges. It can go off the paper, that's why we have a placemat. And you're just gonna do different designs. Whatever you feel looks cool, whatever is most fun for you to create. Just make sure you get right to the edge because this is gonna represent the water where our lily pads are gonna grow and where our frog gets to hang out. So you can do straight lines with this paint scraper. You can actually twist it and make circles. You can do zigzags, whatever you want. Okay, then your paint scraper is gonna go in the bucket that's by the sink to soak because I will have to scrub those. Next step, we're just gonna scooch this guy aside so it's out of your way. You're going to then start on a white paper and you're also gonna have a little green paper. The white paper is gonna be for your lily pads and the eyes of your frog. And the green paper is gonna be for your frog. So we're gonna start you can choose really if you want to start with Sharpie or pencil. You only get one piece though. So if you're starting with Sharpie, you got to be okay with any lines that you don't like. You kind of have to have to make it part of your work. Otherwise, I would suggest doing a pencil first. So we're going to do three or more lily pads. And to draw a lily pad, you start with a big U. You add some spikes at the top. And then you add an oval for the pad. And it they sometimes have a little V that's cut out, sort of like a piece of pie missing. So we're gonna do those, and you can do different sizes if you want, or all the same. Remember, three or more. And then the other thing we're gonna draw on this white paper are the eyes for our frog. So you're just gonna draw two circles. And we are gonna cut these out, so maybe, you know what, you might wanna make them a little farther apart learn from my mistakes so that I can cut these out. And then I like to draw the iris of the eye and the pupil. And you can decide which direction your frog is gonna be looking. And now I'm gonna do some oil pastel. So our oil pastel, we have all these colors. You can color your lilies however you want. I do have an example here that I've started to show you some different techniques. So this one I did little swirls. This one I did sort of lines. And then this one I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show um, the illusion of light, like light is shining, sort of like sunshine. So I'm gonna do my lightest color in the corner and I'm gonna gradually go for a darker color and I can overlap to sort of make a smooth transition. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my greens. And look, I got out of the, the line, that's okay because we're just in a minute gonna cut these out. So don't worry about staying in the lines too much because oil pastels are pretty thick. It's sometimes hard to stay in the line. All right, I'm also gonna color the iris of my froggy's eye. What color eyes is your frog gonna have? I'm gonna do some green and maybe a little turquoise in there. So our next step, we're gonna cut out our lily pads and our eyes. And a trick to make this easier for you is the first kind of cut out around it and then you can actually move your paper see my scissors are staying still if you just move your paper around that is a little helpful tip and if there's some white paper left after you are done cutting that's okay we're still practicing so you're gonna cut out all your lily pads and your frog's eyes. Um, I do wanna show you this green paper. So on the green paper, again, you can do pencil first if you want, but we are going to be drawing a frog and we've already got the eyes done on our white paper. So we're just gonna start with the body. 
and we're gonna do a circle or an oval shape. That's its head slash body com combined. Then we're gonna add some front legs with some feet. And they have huge back legs that make it so they can hop really far and some giant feet back there. Another back leg. And I'm gonna add a little back line to show where it touches the ground from the feet over. And then we're also gonna add a happy, happy, excited mouth with a tongue inside of it. And since I have oil pastels nearby, I'm gonna add some pink to my tongue and I'm also gonna add, frogs have, sometimes they have spots on them. I'm gonna add some spots while I'm here. I have the supply, so why not? Okay, you're also gonna cut out your frog. Um, you can choose to get right in the finger details or you can just kind of go around them. Either is great. Right, and I'm going to make sure I recycle all my paper scraps today. They go in the recycle, not the garbage. So now I'm going to grab my background again. It's still going to be wet. That's normal. And I'm going to have my frog nearby. Um, you are going to then glue everything together. So I have my lily pads ready. Three or more lily pads. I have four. I have my frog and I glued on his eyes. You can see he's kind of looking up and cross-eyed a little bit. And we're gonna do some liquid glue today. So these glue bottles look like this. You twist it open. So now I know it's open because there's a space. Sometimes when you tip it upside down and squeeze right away, it won't come out. It has to come down toward the end. Then you squeeze and you're gonna flip over whatever you're gluing and put dot, dot, not a lot toward the outside edges. Make sure you get the toes. Don't really need a ton, right? And then you're gonna decide where your frog is gonna hang out. We're gonna keep it inside the rectangle, so not going out of the rectangle. I'm gonna do the same thing with my lily pads and lily flowers. Now I'm gonna give the illusion of space. So I put my smallest lily pad in the back I have two medium and I have one large. So my medium are gonna go toward the center, the middle. And my large is gonna be up close to the front. I think I'm gonna put this one here. And your lily pads can overlap if you want or they can each have their own space. So now my biggest lily pad is close up front, medium in the middle and small in the back. And you might have to just carefully push these down because they like to curl up um, until they stay on their own. And once they do stay on your, their own, this whole piece is gonna go on the drying rack to dry. And next week, um, they'll be posted to Artsonia and you can take them home. <laughs>